Thank you for calling East Point Recovery. The call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance. My name is Christy Lynn. How can I help you today? Hey, bitch. I was just returning the call that was on my uh, missed call. Oh, okay. Let me see. Okay. Um, How are you? Good. What's the phone number we called you today? 918-696-2788. 918. I'm sorry. I missed that. 918-696-2788. Okay. Does that ring a bell? Oh. No. Did they leave any reference number or anything? Nope. It's just about the fourth call you've made today. Really? Maybe they already took your number out? Nope. What? That's so crazy. I can't find you, sir, to delete it. So if it happens again, try and get the reference number. Because each number you're giving me, the name, nothing's coming up. You know something? Your pussy stinks, Steve. I'm sorry? You know something? Your pussy stinks, Steve. Um, I don't understand how you would think that. Why don't you go give somebody some pussy and get this off your mind, would you? Get what off my mind? Goddamn whore, why don't you go find somebody else? I can't understand you, sir. You're mumbling. Why don't you go give somebody some pussy and get this off your mind, would you? It, this isn't on my mind. Does your mama know you talk that way? I was about to say the same thing to you. I'm talking to you, you fat as you bitch. What do you want? <laughs> I'm not I'm not any of those. I think you're old and fat and ugly, aren't you? <laughs> That's funny. Are you Why talking you about alive? yourself? You probably riding around in wheelchairs, you goddamn sure don't work. Wheelchairs? Yes. And we don't work, then you just called me at my place of employment, so that makes no sense. Do you have any oh, other insults you'd like to call me to make yourself feel better? Hey, I don't know who in the fuck you're trying to impress, but you don't need to quit your day job, you stupid bitch. Ooh. Are you saying you that in front of your whole family? Nope. Does that make you a tough guy? You stupid son of a bitch. You probably couldn't even take a picture. Makes you a tough guy, doesn't it? Can't afford what I got. I'm sorry, what did you say? Can't afford what I got. Uh, you don't make any sense whatsoever. And fuck you. Yeah? Bring Is that up the only word you know? You ain't got anything. You probably crippled or you'd be out on the job. You probably run around the goddamn wheelchair with one leg up and one leg down. That's only... <laughs> this whole okay. call is being recorded, so. Okay, who is this I'm talking to right now? Excuse me? Okay, who is this I'm talking to right now? You you called me. Yeah, you. Sure do. You called me. You did so who what? do you think you're calling? You did what? Who else was on the phone? My name is Frank Garrett, and I live in Oklahoma. Yeah, and your point? You're a lying son of a bitch. Who else got on the line? Why, you goddamn stupid bitch, what do you want? I didn't call you. What are you looking for, another cousin? Hello. Someone else got on the phone. I want to know who that is. Hey, shit, Ed, do you know your own speaker? That's fine. I want to know who else the person was that got their mouth close to the speaker. I want you to know you little simple-minded son of a bitch here. Oh, I am. And you're in Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So are you just calling to harass me and call me names? You little pimple-faced cocksucker, what are you doing calling me on Sunday afternoon for? We don't call you on Sunday afternoon. We're not even open on weekends. Yes, it or is. Or night. Yes, it no, is. No, we're not. That's what I think. No, we're not. You're a lying son of a bitch. Keep swearing because it's good for the recording. Is it my turn Keep now? Keep saying as many dirty words as you can. That was my call. That was my phone that you called, and now I'm answering it. What do you want? We didn't call you. Prove that we called you. Hello? 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 This is Angela. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. And now tell me what's going on. Oh, um, is there wrap-up tonight? Yes. Okay, I'll share it then. 
I was I was going to send a message to uh, Danielle because she's the only one I got a phone call. Okay. But as I was walking across the parking lot and I was making haste and being silent, I was giving something to God. So I was walking and praying at the same time. You know, it was okay. a fight or flight. I chose to fly and pray, and it was fixed a half an hour later. So, you know, obedience is everything. You know what I mean? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So I'm going to share tonight at wrap up about what happened because I just feel like God put it on my heart. To It's a good example of, you know, being able to walk away from things that make us angry and just immediately start giving your stuff to God, and he'll fix it immediately. And it's all because of obedience. I truly in believe the, that in my heart. In the name of Duncan Construction, Lord, I just take authority over this spirit and this man. Lord, I take authority of this spirit, and I command you to be silent. See there? Who is this? Who who are you looking for? I was just talking to an Angela. I plead the blood of Frank Garrett right now. Duncan Construction's name. I I was just talking to someone named Angela. That's the weirdest thing. My I name work Angela. at a recovery house. I look, I, rec- I work at a recovery house twice a week, and I was just talking to one of the girls about wrap up, and then you came on the phone. My name's Angela. Okay. I, well, I thought you were Angela from the recovery house. I'm sorry. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry about that. Here's Officer Powell. You can talk to him. I don't know who this is. Okay. Oh, my best friend. How are you, baby? Oh, this is the same voice. Y'all are doing your big phone calls again, aren't you? That's right. That's exactly Why right. in the world are you calling me? I don't I'm understand. Do- I'm not doing it, you stupid motherfucker. In Jesus' name, please I'm call me in Jesus' name. I don't me. understand. Goodbye. Hello? Well, let's see what happens. Hi, you're on the pet vet. You got a question? Hello? Hello, you got a question? The last time I took a cruise, my wife won't go on a cruise ship. This was before the COVID thing. She didn't. She has no interest in going on any kind of a buffet line thing with a sneeze shield. So, you know, hey, I appreciate the call for the Caribbean cruise line, but that's not our shtick tonight, right? I, on the other hand, if you've got a veterinary question. It's in the telephone, and we're not answering it, so just keep on keeping on. We don't care we're not answering it. Okay. What? Is she talking about us not answering it? Um, and we're not answering it, so just oh, that's your boy. No, we don't care. We're not answering. Just turn it on. That's your boy. That's you. you. That's you. That's you. That's you. Well, let me tell you all something. Every night when we sit down here, or somebody sits down here, here's what they continually get: trashy, nasty phone calls, or people that just want to over talk over you, or something like that. So. We don't answer them. We've, we've learned what to look for on here. I've been doing this for a long time, and I know what to look for. And there's nothing you can do about it, and you all know that. That's why we don't answer. <laughs> anyway, yeah. such yeah. is life. That's a... Let's go to Will in California. Hello, Will. Yes, hi. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. How are you doing, brother? I'm great, thank you. You know what? Um... I was hearing earlier you're talking about um, terrible things bringing people back to God, and I wanted to share my story about that if you don't mind. Go ahead. I think we need well, to hear. Well, you know, I was born in uh, West Philadelphia, uh-huh. and uh, not a not a nice not a nice area particularly. Uh, I've been through there. Yeah, not it's um, nice. bad parts. Yep. And um, I grew up in kind of a gang infested area, and I used to hang out and play basketball with my friends and things like that. And, one day, uh, there was a gang that got into a fight with me and my friends, and 
my mother, she got scared, and she sent me to my uh, uncle, Car um, Phil, in um, Bel Air. Really nice area, but it was it was tough for me, you know, leaving my friends and family behind. Uh -huh. But uh, my uncle and my my first cousin Carlton, my uncle Phil. Yes. They took me to church every Sunday, and they got me back into the Lord. And I just wanted to see if you can pray for them and thank them. Okay. What's their name? Uh, my uncle Phil and my cousin Carlton. Are they are they both uh, uh, saved now or or not? Y yes, they're the ones who brought me back. Carlton and Phil. Yep. Thanks. All right. Let's do it. Well, Father, I lift up these two men, Phil and Carlton, and I'm thankful that they were obedient servants. Lord, you used them to go after Will to bring him home, Father. That he'd be saved. And that here he is, Lord, national TV, proclaiming a miracle. You took him out of the muck, the mire, the...